Hello to all students. I am Professor Masood Fuzel. Today we are going to discuss the introductory lecture on coronavirus. As you know that corona is a, a virus which is uh, spreading all over the world in the form of pandemic and is causing serious uh, illness in different uh, age groups uh, of uh, human being and also causing uh, many many thousands of deaths. So today we are going to discuss a uh, uh, little bit introductory lecture on coronavirus. So first of all, uh, we, we are going to look at the meaning of coronavirus. So if we look at the meaning of coronavirus, corona means crown. Crown, corona um, has, uh, coronavirus basically is a spherical virus which has spikes on the surface of its membrane which are just like a crown. So that is why we call it a coronavirus or crown. Uh, first of all, we are going to uh, discuss the classification of coronavirus. So if we look at the classification of coronavirus, as you know that every organism, human being or animal or plant or virus, they are divided into different taxa. They are divided and subdivided to classify them into different groups. So similarly, virus, coronavirus also has been divided uh, into different taxa. These taxa are known as, uh, as you know that kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus and species. The first uh, uh, class, uh, kingdom of virus is Orthona viri, the um, kingdom, the largest taxa which we, we normally use in our daily life is Orthona viri. The phylum, it belongs Paisu viricota, Paisu viricota, class is known as Paisoni viricetes, order Nidovirales family Coronaviridae. Coronaviridae is a large family which includes some subfamilies and each subfamily also contains different types of genera. So I'm not discussing all of them, I'm just giving some examples of it. Each family contains genus and each genus may a single family may contain many different genera. The genus is Coronavirini. Coronavirini which also contain four different types of uh, species or genera present in the this uh, in genus this uh, there are four types of genus genera which is known as alpha corona virini beta corona virini gamma corona virini and delta corona virini and so far 45 species are uh, under these genera have been identified so far so i'm not discussing going to discuss all four, 45 different types but I am taking just two examples of species. So the last text size species, there are two uh, species I am going to discuss here. Number one is Bulbul coronavirus HKU11 and number two is Porcine coronavirus which is known as HKU15. Now we are going to discuss the structure of coronavirus. If we look at the structure of coronavirus, coronavirus has a spherical body form. As you know that viruses are belongs to no kingdom. They uh, usually are li between living and non-living organism and they are, uh, they are just uh, uh, particles. Uh, they only uh, show the symptoms of living organism when they enter in animal, plant or any living organism. They start to replicate in their body. So they are made up of usually two parts. One is known as a nucleocapsid which is made up of uh, protein and genome. The second part is genome which is their uh, nucleic acid. It could be either RNA or it could be DNA. Uh, there are certain viruses which are known as uh, enveloped viruses and some viruses are known as naked virus. The viruses which do not have envelope on the body, they are known as naked viruses like T phages, bacteriophages, those are naked viruses. But some viruses like retroviruses, uh, HIV virus and coronavirus, they have enveloped on the surface of their nucleocapsid. That is why they call enveloped virus. So the cent central part of the virus, which is red in color, is known as nucleocapsid. It contains a an case, a body, a capsid, which is made up of protein. And it includes a RNA, RNA a genome. It could be the, the RNA or DNA, but coronavirus contains RNA genome. So this is the central portion which is known as nucleocapsid. 
On the surface of nucleic capsid, there is a protein envelope, which is made up of membrane. This is derived from host cells. So that is why these are enveloped viruses. These uh, uh, membranes or envelope contain spikes on it, um, with the help of which it attaches on the surface of uh, uh, host cell. So there are four different types of uh, proteins found in coronavirus. Number one, spikes. Spikes contain S protein. S protein is present in the form of spikes. There are around 74 spikes on the surface of each coronavirus. These uh, spikes helps to attach, adhere uh, to the surface of the cells and uh, helps in the penetration of the virus into the normal living cells. The second portion is known as envelope, which is made up of two outer membrane and inner envelope, which is together. As you know that uh, envelope, uh, the membrane is made up of lipid bilayer, just like that. And this virus also has a lipid bilayer in which protein molecules are embedded. There are two types of proteins. Number one, M protein, which is membrane protein, and E protein, which is envelope protein. These protein make the overall structure of protein as the virus, viral membranes contain lipids so washing hands with soap dissolves the lipid layer and which can causing the killing of the death of the virus so that is why doctors always advise us to wash hands with soap so that virus can be killed and there is less chance of getting the disease the fourth protein is present in the capsid of the virus which is now which is n protein it makes the capsid which is n case uh, genome the central major part is known as genome which is rna viral genome which is which has which is present in the capsid uh, coronavirus has a very large genome which contain about 300 nucleotides in it it is very very changing uh, genome and multiple variants have been derived and it is rapidly changing its variety and its types so this is uh, the introductory structure of a coronavirus. I hope you have understood it. Now we are going to discuss some uh, important uh, two categories of uh, coronavirus. Well, so, uh, coronavirus uh, is present since uh, I think early 1930s, but it has uh, uh, modified itself into many different uh, categories. Usually it is a uh, uh, animal virus, but anyhow it has been transferred to humans and causing different types of diseases. Uh, on the basis of uh, severity of the symptoms, uh, uh, coronavirus uh, infection can be categorized into mild coronavirus and severe coronavirus. There are four strains I am going to discuss which cause mild symptoms and do not uh, harm the body too much and they are not lethal and they are not fatal and they do not cause too much harm to the body. Um, the number one is human coronavirus OC43 also known as HCOV OC43 this is belong to beta category uh, in the genus category the second virus is known as human coronavirus HKU1 is also known as HCOV HKU1 this is also belongs to beta category number three is human coronavirus 229E HCOV 229E it is belong to A category alpha category of the genus. The number fourth is human coronavirus NL63 which is a mild HCOV NL63 AB alpha cat uh, this is also belongs to alpha category. So these four uh, strains of the virus they are mild they do not cause any fatal uh, damage to the body. Now let's talk about the severe strains of the virus. There are three major severe strains of the viruses. Number one, severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus, also known as SARS. It was discovered in earlier 2003 and later 2002. It belongs to beta category and it causes uh, respiratory problems, infect lungs and uh, can cause the death of the person. The second is the Middle East respiratory syndrome coronavirus, which is also known as MERS virus. MERS COVID, it is also belong to beta cat category. It was uh, identified in 2012. And the third and the last category is severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, uh, which is also known as SARS COVID 2. It is also known as COVID 19 because it was identified in 2019. And it is also become, belong to beta category. 
so these are uh, discussing right now and severe acute respiratory syndrome sars cov2 is spreading all over the world and it is changing into different variants as you know that delta variants and one is coming like move move variant which are uh, evolving uh, very rapidly and uh, different strains are uh, spreading in different continents of the world and causing severe damages to the body and so many deaths in human beings so what are the main symptoms uh, which are as you know that corona is spreading all over the world and different people are getting infected with this virus but first of all we have to look at the symptoms and uh, these symptoms can be confusing because uh, these symptoms are caused by many other health issues but we have to take a test for covid 19 to make sure it is not a covid or it is a covid the major symptoms are fever and chills cough shortness of breath fatigue headache and body itches loss of smell or taste tinnitus ringing of bell in the ears diarrhea and it could be any other symptoms in the body so the best thing is that wear a mask wash your hands with your soap and uh, keep a distance from crowd have vaccination because there is no such uh, treatment is available so far only vaccination and our immune system can protect us from this virus so boost intake uh, such foods which uh, boost your immune system avoid junk food uh, hopefully you will be fine so that's all for today i hope uh, you have like you have understood this topic and uh, please if you like it please uh, share this lecture with your friends family and also comment it uh, hopefully see you in the next lecture bye